Florida opens up their spring practice this week, and depending when you're watching this video, they may have already had their first practice of the 2024 spring uh, spring practice cycle. So with that said, the quarterback position, the quarterback room, let's talk about Graham Mertz, let's talk about DJ Lagway. What do we want to see from both of them during spring practice? How can they even be evaluated, right? Like, like you know, the media, media doesn't get a lot of opportunities, at least at most schools, to view the whole practices. But what do we want to see from each quarterback? Let's talk about Graham Mertz, and let's talk about DJ Lagway. If this is your first time tuning in the channel, we're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things college quarterback. If that's your niche, please consider subscribing and following us along. All right, Graham Mertz. He's someone that we've covered a decent amount in the, in the past. We put out a video about him maybe a, a few weeks ago, talking about how, how he can impact the, the tough schedule that Florida has this year. But it all starts with spring practice. The, he's coming up for career year, right? But I think he's going to have to continue to develop. He's going to have to continue to improve on things that he improved on last year for Florida to be where they want to be in 2024 and surprise some people, which I really think they're capable of doing. I'm not one to, to throw Napier and throw Florida away right now. It's way too early for that. I know it's kind of a common theme, but I think for, for that to happen, I think for Florida to be where they want to be, Graham Mertz is going to have to take an, another step. He had a career year last year. So for spring practice, how can we take that step? Well, I think you want to develop a number one receiver again. You got Pierce all leaving. Uh, that was definitely his go-to guy. They had a gr great chemistry. So now you want to develop another go-to guy, maybe two, three, right? You want to be able to have even better, you know, chemistry and camaraderie with your receivers this year. And it starts with spring camp. Another year under 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 Napier, another year on campus, and that's even more experience. I still think there's more room to grow for Mertz. Like he showed last year, he's not a finished product. And where he improved on was was taking care of the football, which was huge. It kept Florida in games, even games they lost. They were at least in the game with positions with the chance to win. Now, why they lost is a different story. But I think taking care of the football is number one. So continue to do that. And number two, this is any Florida fan or anyone that keeps up with SEC football or Grand March knows this has always has been at least last year and the year before has always been his kind of big issue besides turnovers is pushing the ball downfield, which I thought he did a good job of last year. Now it's not where you want to be, but it's a big step. It's a big improvement. At Wisconsin, he was like six something yards per tent most years. Last year he was at least like eight. Was he above eight? He was in that eight-ish range, which is not bad by any means, but still probably not where you want to be uh, on on average. You still want to take more shots. I think he had 14 completions where the ball was thrown 20 yards or more downfield. I think only Maybe the Will Rogers was ahead of him, or only Will Rogers was was, was below that, and the SEC maybe one other uh, Q in there on their team. So you still want to take some shots. You still want to find some ways to spread the field and, and open it up, right? But overall, I thought Merce did good last year. But improvement areas continue to build on what you did last year, right? Push the ball downfield. You feel you're more comfortable in that offense, and you're going to have to develop s some more chemistry with with other receivers, with your main guy leaving. So that's what I want to see from Mertz in spring ball. Uh, continue to have a grasp on the team. Also, be nice to help mentor and, and get DJ Lagway along along the way. So let's talk about Lagway next. How quickly can he get put up to speed? I don't think he has to learn everything right now in camp, right? Like it's only 14 practices, 15 practices if you include the spring game or whatnot. You don't have to learn everything in camp. And he's already there's already been some install. Like during this offseason, even though you're limited hours, I guarantee he's been on the field with a script that the coaches have given him to go through these, these packages, go through these plays. And when we were in college, we would get this script. We would get these packages to go through. The coaches would go up in the press box, and they would watch us go through this volunteer throwing session. So I guarantee he's already been learning the playbook. He's going to be learning the playbook the whole summer. So it doesn't have to happen during these 14 and 15 practices. But you still want to see how quickly he can pick it up, and you still want to see how quickly he can put what he's learning in the film room, what he's learning in the meetings, onto the field. And I think you know these 14 and 15 practices can can just dis display that. Something to know about DJ Lagway, too, and just being in this quarterback space, like there was a big improvement from the summer tour essentially last year. He was one of the top rated quarterbacks in the league. You know, I went to several elite 11s, uh, you know, it was kind of in that space. There was a big improvement from that summer tour to, to his senior season. Like he just killed it in the senior season. And during the elite 11, he, he did fantastic, but you know, you would see some balls thrown off, off target here and there. And then once, once the game happens, once you put on the pads and the lights turn on, that's when he shines the most, and that's what you want your quarterback to do, any of your players. You want them, when the game starts, that's when you want them to be at their best. So I think it's important to to remember that, but that tells us, man, he's got 
a, a, a huge ceiling, right? He's got so much room to continue to get better and better. So during these practices, that's when you get better and better and you just kind of get up to speed with how the college moves. And on top of that, you want to learn the offense, but he doesn't have to learn the whole offense right now. You give him packages early, and reading the reports, they, they, they want to get him involved in 2024. Yes, Merch is the guy, unless something, you know, unless he just takes a step back, but yes, Merch is the guy. And then Lagway, you want to have packages in there. And, you know, if you're a Florida fan, you remember the Tim Tebow to Chris Leak type deal. You know, you're kind of seeing those comparisons, and, you know, that'd be great if that ends up for Florida. But you want to give him packages to get really good at. I don't know, 10, 15 plays with some different kind of offsets uh, from that. Get really good at get really comfortable, and then give him more on top of that. You don't want to just flood him with the whole playbook right now. So give him the plays you want him to learn, get really good at it, get a good grasp on that, and then give him more. That's a recipe for success for any young quarterback, right? not just DJ Lagway, but that's what you want to see. So you want to see him do really good on a few plays, then you want to see him do really good on a few more plays, and eventually he gets better and better, and then eventually the whole playbook is there. Uh, but it's been kind of distributed and taught you know, through a structured practice. That's what I want to see from DJ Lagway. I want to see him get a grasp on these packages that they want him to, to be good at and just run it really well in, in, in spring practice. If he doesn't have a good spring practice, who cares, right? He's going to develop. But um, but what we've seen from Lagway in high school and what we've seen him develop, I, I anticipate him showing some really good things in spring practice. But that's what we want to see. Get a grasp on the offense. doesn't have to be the whole offense and take those steps. And then for Mertz, man, just continue to improve on those errors that you improved on last year and develop a number one receiver. And, you know, hopefully Florida can surprise some people. But it all starts during spring practice and getting – this whole kind of uh, system moving in the right direction starts with the quarterback position. So those, those are the takeaways. That's, that's what I want to see from both quarterbacks. So Florida fans, what do you want to see from each quarterback? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you want to see from Lagway? What do you want to see from Mertz? And just let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And again, if you like this quarterback niche type stuff, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. It does help us. And we got some cool new things coming forward that we'll be kind of uh, putting out here soon. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace.